Uh, what? Where am I? Ah, Citizen Plus? Citizen Plus? <laughs> That's not very relaxing. Jen? Hey, Jennifer! I gotta get her attention! Someone's locked up all my stuff! I'll never get that combination on my own. Let me out! Make sure the McFly boy is prepped for his Citizen Plus treatment by the time I finish with my husband. How is Citizen Brown? I'm afraid it's worse than we imagined. He's gone completely antisocial. Darn. We're using every tool at our disposal to snap him out of it. But I fear that nothing short of a complete personality rebuild will bring our leader back to us. And it's all McFly's fault? Unbelievable, isn't it? One teenage hooligan has brought Hill Valley to the brink of ruin. Ah, well. Let me know when he's ready. I'll be tending to Citizen Brown. I gotta get out of here and rescue Doc. Martin? Ah! Dad, is that you? Who else would it be? Where are you? Back in the garage. What are you doing in the Citizen Plus ward? Edna threw me in here. She can't do that to my son. How can I help? Could you let me talk to Jennifer? Jennifer Parker? Yeah, she's in the room next door. Let's see, that'd be waiting room beta. Got it. You're all patched in, son. Jennifer. Martin, is that you? Where are you? I'm over here, in the camera. Oh, Martin, aren't you in enough trouble already? Trouble? Jen, what are you talking about? You know, with all the drinking and the PDAs. Jennifer, what's wrong with you? You sound strange. I used to be strange, Martin. But thanks to my First Citizen Plus treatment, I'm well on my way to becoming an average, well-adjusted teenager. Citizen Plus? Oh no, Jen, not you too. Why is your door open? Now that I'm finished with my Citizen Plus treatment, I'm free to go whenever I want. I'm just waiting for the nice guard to escort me out. On your way out, do you think you can help me break out of here? Oh, I couldn't do that, Martin. It's against the rules. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's, it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh danged hormones are out of control, Martin. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh danged hormones are out of control, Martin. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's it's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh danged hormones are out of control, Martin. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's, it's kind of lonely in here. 
I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh danged hormones are out of control, Martin. Jen, snap out of it. This isn't the real you. I mean, it's kind of like the real, real you, but not like the real you in this timeline. Wow, that's... I know, it sounds crazy. I'd never call you crazy, Martin. You're just sick. I should know I used to be sick, too. But now, I never want to spray paint a Buick or listen to rock music ever again. Hey, do you know what time it is? No. Didn't they give you some kind of digital watch when you were done with all that brainwashing? The Citizen Plus watch? I won't get one of those for another five or six treatments. Rats. How'd you wind up in the Citizen Plus program anyway? My dad signed me up, and it's a good thing too. I was completely out of control. I kind of liked it. Jen, this whole Citizen Plus thing is a scam. Edna's using it to take control of everyone in Hill Valley, including her husband. You know, Citizen Edna told me you were having paranoid delusions, but I had no idea. So, what was your Citizen Plus treatment like anyway? It's... it's... well, that's weird. I don't really remember. Must be a side effect of the treatments. Could you hang around for a few minutes? It's nice to have someone to talk to. I'll be here until the guard comes for me. Then I'll really have to tell him about how you're hijacking the cameras. Oh, come on. Don't be a narc. I'm not a narc. I'm a good citizen. Dad. How can I help, son? Not that I'm not happy that you're here, but why are you here? I'm looking for your mother. Mom? After you left, she and I had a big old fight, and... Well, she went and signed herself up for a full battery of Citizen Plus treatments. Didn't you tell her about Biff? I tried. But you know your mother. Once she puts her mind to something, she's a regular force of nature. I figure that if I can just find her, maybe I can talk her out of this foolishness. So, have you found Mom yet? Not yet. You wouldn't believe how many cameras they've got around here. It's nice that you're concerned about Mom, but couldn't you come down here yourself? Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm probably in enough trouble with the authorities already. No, I think it's better for everyone if I stay here in my garage with my televisions and cameras. You got any advice for getting out of here? Keep working on Jennifer. She may be acting strange, but that girl's crazy about you. Dad, those Citizen Plus watches are gonna turn everyone in Hill Valley into robots, starting with Citizen Brown. I always suspected digital watches were evil. It's not the watches, Dad, it's Edna. She's completely lost it. Citizen Edna's crazy? Oh, that's not good. Although it would explain a lot. Dad, I know this is a lot to accept, but I've got to rescue Citizen Brown so that we can go back in time and stop him from ever marrying Edna in the first place. You're right, son. That is a lot to accept. So let's forget you ever said it, just concentrate on getting you out of there. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Know anything about cracking combination locks? Sorry, son. I'm more of a peeping Tom than a safe cracker. Stay close, Dad. I'm as close as I can get, Martin. Dad! 
How can I help, son? Could I talk to Jennifer again? Sure thing, son. Jennifer? What is it, Martin? Come on, Jen. You don't really want a life without rock and roll, do you? Rock and roll? Ew. Just the thought of the pelvis pulsing three chord power ballads you used to play makes me all queasy inside. Blech. Come on, Jen. You don't really want a life without rock and roll, do you? Rock and roll? Ew. Just the thought of the pelvis pulsing three chord power ballads you used to play makes me all queasy inside. Blech. Okay, forget breaking out. Could you at least come visit me? It's. It's kind of lonely in here. I don't think it's a good idea for us to see each other until you've undergone your first Citizen Plus treatment. Why not? Because your gosh danged hormones are out of control, Martin. Don't go yet, Jen. I wouldn't dream of it. It'd be against the rules. Hello? What? Let me out of here! Sorry, sir, but Citizen Plus patients aren't allowed to exit their waiting rooms until the Citizen Plus treatment chamber has been suitably prepped for their procedure. You can't keep me in here. It's against the law. When you sign your Citizen Plus treatment agreement, you gave the Citizen Plus ward legal approval to incarcerate you until the completion of your Citizen Plus treatment. I didn't sign anything. Of course you did, sir. Citizen Edna handed me the paperwork herself. Of course she did. I don't suppose you believe me if I told you that Edna forged my signature? That's a good one, sir. Hey, could you get me a burger or something? The only food I've had today is a tofu dog. Regrettably, sir, the rigors of the Citizen Plus treatment require you to begin the process with an empty stomach. Why is all my stuff locked in a cage? In order to ensure that Citizen Plus patients don't injure themselves, their belongings are placed in a locked box until the completion of their Citizen Plus treatment. Injure themselves? It's a very intensive process. Some people can't handle it. Can I take a look at my stuff for a second? Why? I, uh, want to make sure my guitar neck isn't getting bent. What? Come on, man. My parents spent a fortune on that thing. Fine. Back away from the door, sir. There. How's the guitar? I guess it's okay. Good. Dad. How can I help, son? I tried to peek over the guard's shoulder to get the combination, but he's too tall. Over his shoulder? Hold on. What? I may have it on tape. Zoom, enhance, zoom, enhance. Ha! What? The camera was high enough to see over his shoulder. Nice work, Dad. The combination is 2 left, 8 right, 18 left, 32 right. All right. Hey, your guitar! I'm sorry I tried to throw it out. Yeah, the guitar's pretty cool, but this is what I care about. No fair making your dad all misty, son. Dad. How can I help, son? Could I talk to Jennifer again? Sure thing, son. Jennifer? What is it, Martin? Don't go yet. I wouldn't dream of it. It'd be against the rules. I can't plug my guitar into that. Okay, Jen, here's a little something I think you're gonna like. At least, I hope you still do. Martin? Jennifer. Oh, Martin. 
Martin? What are you doing? What's going on here? I have no idea, sir. I was minding my own business when all of a sudden a horrible noise started coming out of that camera. Well, that's not right. Yeah, well, neither is this! No one scrambles my brain, you hear me? No one! I'm Jennifer Parker, rock and roller. Jen? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah! Jen! No time for small talk, McFly. We need to get you disguised so we can walk out of here. Calvin Klein underwear? Really? There. How do I look? A little short for a stormtrooper, but it'll have to do. Come on! I don't feel like serenading anyone right now. I can't plug my guitar into that. Dad? Dad? Okay, Hotshot, what's next? Now we rescue Citizen Brown, get the hell out of here, and get things back to the way they're supposed to be. Whatever, just as long as I get to break some stuff. I've got a lot of pent-up hostility right now, you know? Miss Parker. What the? Yeah. I'm here to escort you to the lobby. Your father's waiting for you. Can he wait? I was hoping that this attractive young man could take me on a tour of the facilities. I'm afraid I really must insist, miss. Relax, Jennifer. I've got everything under control. Really? Really. Okay, then. But first... What was that for? For saving me, dummy. Let's go, officer. You know, I'm probably gonna have to write you up for a PDA violation. Don't bite me. What? Rock and roll. Can I have some of that? Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I can be pretty persuasive. No. Don't worry, Emmett. Don't touch that! I need the caffeine. Hey, get me out of here! Sorry, can't hear you in this thing, but thanks for the duds, though. That's eh, broken. I guess Jen did that so the guard won't be able to call for help. Hey, shh, busy! That speaker looks really familiar. I used to think she was a little annoying, but now she's just plain evil. No improvement. That looks like a giant air freshener. Weird. Wow, they've really got this door locked up tight. I wonder what sick freak they've got in here. Ah! I should have known. Hi, Biff. Looks like your intercom's busted. Eh, just as well. It'd probably be just a bunch of swearing and mixed metaphors anyway. You want out of here, big guy? Guess they don't work. 
Hey, Biff, guess who your guard is? Peekaboo! The guard says I'm not supposed to give you any food until you swallow your pill. No, no! Jeez, he looks miserable. I don't know what kind of movies they're showing Doc, but I don't think he's enjoying them. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for the bathroom? The next scheduled bathroom break isn't for another 158 minutes. Right. Stop fighting it, darling. You're only hurting yourself. Can I have some of that? Feels like I haven't eaten in years. No, that's Tannins. He's not allowed to eat it until he's taken his pacification pill. We tried to give it to him an hour ago, but he still hasn't swallowed it. Let me try. I could be pretty persuasive. No. Oh. I can't leave before I rescue Doc. He's the only guy who could repair the DeLorean. Hi, Biff. Come on, Biff, just swallow your pill. Disengage occipital override. I'd never get my hand under there. Hi, Biff. Come on, Biff, just swallow your pill. Spit. Um, what part of spizzy don't you understand? I don't think he'll intentionally take a knockout pill. I could put the pill in Biff's food, but I don't think the guard's gonna eat it, and I can't blame him. Hey, is that a public display of affection over there? What? Uh, sorry, it was just a shadow. Stop goofing around and get back to work. Yes, sir. Jeez, what have they been feeding Biff? Horse tranquilizers? Yo, God! Who, me? I, I mean... Me? Yes, you. As you can see, that slacker of a technician is sleeping on the job again. Please be a dear and tend to the Citizen Plus control panel, will you? Uh, sure. Okay, Doc, I'm in. Now, how do I get you out of here without turning you into a vegetable? Just let it go, Emmett. When you wake up, you'll be a whole new person. Eh, he'll be out for a while. Jeez, where's the off button on this thing? Hey, an equalizer. At least, I think it's an equalizer. Optics. Volume, 
Finally, a word I can understand. Okay, that moved him a few inches. Maybe I can blast him right out the door. Oh! Tactile. Oh! Whoa! Ah, uh, sorry. Gastrosensory. <laughs> Olfactory. I think I know what that means. What the? Looks like the aroma tanks have clogged themselves again. Oh, thank you. I hadn't noticed that. Come on, make yourself useful. I'm sorry about the delay, dear. This'd go a lot easier if you just gave up this madness about time machines and altering the past. You should concentrate on the future. There is no future for us. You won't think that in a few more hours. Anna, please, think about the consequences of your actions. Me? You're the one threatening the social order of hill. Check. Sibilance. Sibilance. What was that? I hope this thing's as powerful in this reality as it is in mine. My friend out of here, you nutcase. Okay, that was a little less dramatic than I had expected. Whoa! Wait for the gods to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She could give us away. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I have the wreck code to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why, is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. All right, Dad. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. 
At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Mom! Dad! No! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great! Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? He's not yeah. coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, too. Not the only inspiration of Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Blech. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. It worked! Ha <laughs> ha! One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Martin, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Leave! I'll ruin you, Emmett! I run this town! Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there. I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. 
Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. What about it? I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow-bellied stool? I never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. That's what caused the whole problem, remember? We've got to get young you to see Frankenstein. Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70-plus years. Once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to... Go huh? inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, you're Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Harry! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Yeah, well, sometimes first impressions are right. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The Rocky Car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Social utility? Since when do you care about... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Callahan. October 12th? Doc? Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip-off. 
Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in the Cenozoic Age. Oh, oh, oh worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you Impossible. out of... Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna? Where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. You were right. There she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh. I'll talk to her. You'd better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All car of the future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? Good luck! Spell it! B-R-O-W-N! It's not exactly an obscure name! I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love... Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting-edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward-thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Callahan! You do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? I need to... Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh... Have you seen Emmett? Uh, no. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, those gut instincts are important. If you disliked him right off the bat. Oh, but I didn't know him then. Now I know him inside and out. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Callahan, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Ahem. <clears throat> you said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Callahan. You know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. 
And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girl's, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, and it just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. You say you know Emmett as a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. Emmett's done a lot of shady things in his time. My vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. So you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. <laughs> settling down? You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Callahan. I wonder what's going to happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Callahan. What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities. What he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Hey, Audie. You seen my Orioli? You mean this? Yeah, thanks. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Hey, Artie! Officer! Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. Hey, excuse me. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight! Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! You got official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. <clears throat> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. 
That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kit had gone and iced Audie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So you work for the expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests, and on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Techni, Muse of Progress. Not a bad gig. Audie got it for me. It's my entree into respectability. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's gotta resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Oh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni, Muse of Progress. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. So, Artie's working for the Expo too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell! The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The Expo's darn lucky they could get him. How's Kid's trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing. It's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning him in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with him in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Pete's me. Audie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. See ya, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Come see the cars of the future. Brought to you by Statler DeSoto. Ah, good. You're back. Give me the full report. 
She says she likes you because you've got a virtuous mind, you look good in a suit, and you're completely faithful to her. Damn, she's got me dead to rights. Well, you'll just have to find a way to change her mind. I'll be here if you need any help. Do you need any help? Have you figured out what's wrong with the time circuits? Not sure. Possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double-checking to make sure. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Um, any chance I could borrow the DeLorean? I want to drop in on young you at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits... Listen, I promise I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. Tell you what, I'll take it on a test drive one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. He worked! Didn't it? I'm afraid not. In fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. Oh, too bad. I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? A diagnostic device. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. No keys. I'll have to find my wheels somewhere else. I wonder if that has a massage setting. I wish the courthouse did look like that in 1981. Press button to experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley. And the Expo would like to remind you that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at Howl's Hardware. And after the rain, Howl's Hardware. What else? Serving our An fair artificial rainbow. Reassuring all the good people of Hill Valley that their needs are taken care of. Us, our and residents will want to venture forth sweet. into the fresh air occasionally. And what better excursion than a pleasure ride, ride in this elevator super train of tomorrow? Joe. With us 50 years into Just the future for a peek at Hill Valley Circus. 1981, courtesy of Hal's Hardware and the collective imagination of mankind. Could this be our venerable Old Town Square? Yes, indeed. I don't have any reason to give a fake new, diamond a the trixie. function remains the same as ever, but where are all the people? If I'm gonna get to Emmett's, I need to find some wheels. A network of burrows extends a mile into the earth, giving future Hill Valley at least 10 million citizens, plenty of I'm space give to, a work, diamond to Edna. play, and raise their family. Why would I give a diamond to him? He might get the wrong idea. Why would I give a diamond to him? If this were a real diamond, I could use it to cut that in two. But it's not. To all who approach these hallowed halls. What's cooking? Ideas. Up here. See ya, Trixie. Don't be a stranger.
Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! Why would I give a diamond to him? Nah. I don't think so. I don't feel like serenading anyone right now. <clears throat> Back again, Mr. Callahan? What can I help you with? Well, I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible! Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't, until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! What's cooking? Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. See you, Trixie. Don't be a stranger. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez. This guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause Little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. You seem kinda angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just well it just cheeses me off, you know? So what's so uh toe-curling about Trixie's past. Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? My mom saw me in my underwear. That ain't so bad. Last year? Okay, that's pretty bad. All right, Junior, you win. 
that was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Well, okay. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other, it's all Greek to me. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing. I... I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't rat me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You are firing me? I don't want to. Here. Take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. Trixie? I'll do it. I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out. That's great. I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows oh, up... we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Paula Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly.
How about an algae cake? One doesn't normally think of algae as a dessert item, but, uh, what the hell? Well, it's got a very, um, unique flavor. Voila! Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep that up and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. How about the furs in the photo album? I'll get them to you. That notebook belongs to Doc. The real Doc. Seriously, I am not stealing this truck. Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. You still cheesed off at Trixie? Yeah, but I'm more cheesed off at whoever got her fired. Oh. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Stay out of trouble, cue ball. That's what I'm trying to do. Good news! I think Trixie's gonna go along with my scheme. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please, don't tell me the details. Good news! I think Trixie's gonna go along with my scheme. Pursue whatever strategies you like, but please, don't tell me the details. I'm having trouble finding another set of wheels. You sure I can't- Not till I finish running these tests. Perhaps an electric commuter train. This is 1931, remember? Oh, right. Well, I'm sure you'll find something. Come see the cars of the future. Brought to you by Statler DeSoto. If I'm gonna get to Emmett's, I need to find some wheels. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Callahan. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um... I'll go check on him for you. I was just heading there anyway. No, you weren't. The last thing he needs is another distraction at the 11th hour. But... Tut -tut. Not another word. I've got the rest of the day all mapped out. Miss Strickland! I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. Heavens, you've shaved off your hair, but... Carl Sagan? I'd like a word with you, if I may. I'm not sure it would be seemly for me to be seen in the company of an alleged arsonist. I think it may be in your best interest. You see, I know what you're up to. Let's go somewhere where we can talk privately. Go. I'll keep her occupied till you get back. Hang on, Emmett. Hope you're ready for a big breakup. Emmett? Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps, ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interests at heart. 
Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself at home. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time!